tonight, October 30th, is Mysterium, the Eternal Masquerade. What the Eternal Masquerade is all about is the fact that once a year the spirits of this library come to life. All the characters are portrayed in vignettes and roving characters and dance and spoken word through the library. And it's up to the individual to explore uh, and pick up clues along the way and try to find out what it exactly is that's tying all of these things together and why all of these spirits on this one evening have chosen to come to life. I think it is time, my dear, to begin the game. Welcome, Welcome to, to Mysterium, Mysterium, the Eternal Masquerade. We're really hoping to create a world that will surround people in a way that they're not used to, an experience that brings them to another world. And some of you will even be lucky enough to have some very special one-off experiences all by yourself with characters in the corners of the library. Is that all I ever was to you? Was just someone to steal shiny things for you? Get out! Get out now! So in that, it's really sort of a unique experience that you get to sort of almost create the evening yourself. All of the performances will be happening around you. You actually become part of the experience. Sometimes people have said it's like you're almost like um, a game piece on a board and we're moving you through the space to experience it. No man is good enough to govern another. Good families and good ideas are the backbone of a good government. I want people to really be immersed in another world and I want that world to leave them wanting more um, but also knowing that they're still not sure what had happened this evening and so that's also really part of what Mysterium is all about. I mean basically on Halloween souls are supposed to walk the earth and what we're doing here is we're bringing the characters of the books that are housed in this library alive for one evening and how you interact with them is up to you. So I'm Jack Martin, I'm the Executive Director of the Province Public Library, and this is Mysterium 2015. Uh, we're basically turning the library into, I don't want to say a haunted house, but a mysterious house. 1031 uh, mined our collections, and they created this amazing experience um, for everybody in Rhode Island, New England to have. My favorite thing about tonight, and also about last year's Mysterium, is I love to sort of stand back and watch people's faces as they experience the whole thing. And it's, I, I love watching the, the looks of confusion on their face. I love watching the looks of, of being overwhelmed or being inspired. That's my favorite part. I love just being a fly on the wall and just watching everybody experience it all. And, and again, like, for me, it all comes back to the collections of a library. So to, to know that like, our, you know, the books on our shelves, the materials in our library, can actually create an experience like this. So that's what I get excited about. It was thrilling. It was a bit frightening, a bit enchanting. The food, as always, Russ Morin, delicioso, favoroso, see, si, thumbs up. The food, the entertainment, fabulous. Joe, 1031, as always, grazie tante. Oh my God, this was awesome, Mysterium. You had to be very patient, which sometimes it's hard to do, and wait for the clues, and then you thought you were right there, and you had the clue, but you didn't have it. But it was different, such a different event. Awesome, very entertaining, can't wait for next year.